Something I've not seen nearly enough people talk about is the combination of thrusters and parachutes. Like, think about it. Thrusters are great, but usually they have too much force. But by adding parachutes to the mix, we could create thrusters that are actually easy to control. At least in theory. I mean, right now, all I can do is a backflip. <laughs> Now, I'm actually really curious to see, like, for example, right here, we have a normal thruster and right here, we're going to have a thruster, but it's going to have a medium sized parachute attached to it. So when we drop both of these, let's say we activate everything at the exact same time. Let's see. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, the one thruster didn't even get off the ground. I mean, the other one's already a Yodi land, bro. Like what? This one didn't even move. I mean, that exactly proves my point. There should be a perfect balance in which we can actually make thrusters push only a little bit. Okay, you know what? Let's do the same test, but with ultra thrusters this time. I mean, I think these are like four times more powerful. All right, there you go. Same size parachute. Let's see what's going to happen. Activate! Dude, there's no way. There's no way we once again have a thruster that cannot even get off the ground. Okay, we're going to have to lower the amount of parachutes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Here we have different thrusters with varying amounts of parachutes. Let's see where it actually stops taking off. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, activate them all! Literally only one went, but it still went up. But look, it's like super controlled, dude. Wait, look at that. It's like flying super smooth. Let's see, can I zoom in on this? Dude, look at how smoothly that's going. All right, we're gonna have to replace the switch. Let's see if any of these are actually gonna go smooth. Bro, literally only one? Wait, we can only have anything more than one is too much. All right, here we go, the exact same test. Or we're actually using half balloons, like half size balloons. Come on, like, where is it actually gonna stop taking off? Go! Okay. Oh my God, what? Look at that! It is perfectly balanced! That is a perfectly balanced. What? Have you ever seen a thruster do that? I have never seen a thruster do that before. We created almost zero gravity. That was one and a half. My brain is literally malfunctioning. One and a half parachutes. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? There's a... Okay, wait, there must be someone trolling me. Wait, what? Okay. Oh my God, there's a camera. I see a camera. I'm definitely being trolled. <laughs> okay, dude, I was so confused for a sec. All right, so this time we're going to do the same thing, but with even smaller changes. All right, there we go. I hope the sword doesn't mess anything up, but let's see. Three, two, one. When are we going to perfectly float? Go! Okay, okay. The, the sword messed it up. <laughs> wait, what the... Oh my God, wait. But that one's actually flowing. Wait, which size is that? Wait, wait, wait. Anchor off! That one was 100% perfectly floating. Oh my god, wait. That's the one with 1.2. Okay, so a balloon that is 1.2 blocks big perfectly floats. Now, I actually decided to run that test one extra time just to be extra sure. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's the one. Wait, look at that one. It's perfectly floating. Wait, that is 0 1.4. 1 by 1.4 is a perfectly floating thruster. Okay, so from what I know, I'm pretty sure that plastic is actually zero blocks in weight. Like it's like the weight is literally zero. But just to be extra safe, we're gonna make this super, super tiny. Okay, now a chair is actually not weight by zero, but I mean, it's gotta be pretty close still. All right, then here we go. Now for our parachutes. Now I'm gonna make these 1.4 each. There you go, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. There it is. So this right here is gonna be the ultimate test to see if this thing is actually perfectly balanced. All right, here we go. I want to sit on this thing as well. And we start spinning it like really, really fast, which if anything should actually make this thing go even smoother. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. We're actually going up. We need more. We need more resistance. Wait, but it's actually super smooth. Like we are like, wait, I could have probably stood on there if it, if it wasn't for the fact that I, I got launched into space. <laughs> Okay, I want to find the perfect amount of resistance. All right, here we go. Let's see if this one works. Oh, okay. It's still just going up. <laughs> okay, that right there is already looking way more controlled. And I think with this launch, we might have actually found exactly what we're looking for. Here we go. Boom. Hey, look at that. Okay, it is a little bit too much downwards, but I mean, that is literally so smooth. Like what? Like, look at how slowly we're falling. Okay, now we are actually heading up again. So we want to find something right in between those two. Come on, balance out. Oh my God, we're floating. Look at this. We are actually floating right now. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I mean, that is kind of like a helicopter, actually. Now, just because I am very curious, what would happen if we tilt the entire build on its side? All right, here we go. Well, only one way to find out. Start spinning, baby. Launch! 
Dude, look at that! Oh my god! Wait! Okay, we are on the wrong team! Wait, can I get- Bro, I'm gonna have to get on the white team. Oh my god! Being a millionaire is sick! Let me join the white team! Let me join the white team! All right, there we go. We're on the white team. All right, here we go! Moment of truth! Three, two, one, launch! Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going in the wrong direction! But dude, if we can do that in the right direction, bro, we're gonna be golden. So it, le it looks like we're slightly leaning left right now. I mean, maybe one way to fix it is to like, like make it green torque so it's like more stable or something. I don't know. Let's see if that does the trick. Actually, one thing that might do the trick is turning off collision on everything. Launch! Okay, we're still slightly going left, but dude, oh my God, I'm an idiot. What if I just turn the entire build slightly right? We overcompensate. And we're gonna head straight for the end! That is definitely how you should do it when you do, like, science. <laughs> Especially rocket science, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, if you're slightly flying right, you just make it go a little bit left. All right, here we go. So the entire build... <laughs> just give it a little... Oh! <laughs> yep, that should do the trick! All right, here we go. Start spinning! Three, two, one, go! Come on! Yes! Wait, we're... Bro, we gotta turn more. We gotta add more turn to it. Okay, wait. This is actually working, though. We actually got further, bro. We gotta just adjust a little bit more. And I think we should be pretty much good. Okay, we, we I made it go just a little bit more right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Send it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Wait, we made it to the first stage! Wait, that is a bit of a success. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Okay, even more right, dude. This is so right. Come on. Ah! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Are we getting messed up? Because this guy's plot is actually like like no build zone. And you know what? That's when it struck me. I came up with the perfect plan on how we can actually get this thing all the way to the end. Come here, puppy. Just a little bit higher. And there should be far less stuff for us to actually hit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Start spinning. Come on. Three, two, one. One, go! Oh my god! We're actually going! <laughs> and with a slight turn more to the right, I think we will actually have ourselves a device that will fly us all the way to the end. Oh my god, wait. Wait, we're actually slowly drifting around in circles. Wait, but it's actually like so smoothly flying though, dude. You know what? I'm actually convinced that there is a way you can make this work. So I added in a delay block that turns off the thruster after two seconds. So maybe that will be just enough to actually send us all the way to the end. Here we go. Start spinning. Three, two, one, go! Okay, thrusters turn off. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god! Yes! We're actually going! Oh my god! There is no way. There is no way this is the real world. We actually made it to the end! You know what? That right there is probably one of the weirdest gold grinders I have ever built. 